to my channel. So today I am bringing you another what's for dinner video. I love making these because I know for me personally, I'm always looking for some kind of dinner inspiration or different dinner recipes to try out. So tonight we are making chicken Parmesan and I am so excited because I've never made it before and it looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around, show you the ingredients and we are going to get started making it. So I'm starting out with some panko breadcrumbs and I'm adding some Italian seasoning, cavenders, and onion powder. Then I'm just gonna roll my chicken in this and it didn't stick very well so I added some butter and then I rolled it and that seemed to work a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my spaghetti noodles and let those cook. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a little butter in my skillet and go ahead and add my chicken. Now I am putting some spaghetti sauce in the bottom of my pan. Then I'm going to just put my chicken right on top of this, some more sauce on top of my chicken, and then we actually did mozzarella cheese on top of that. You can add the Parmesan cheese. I wish I would have put the Parmesan cheese in with our panko crumbs and rolled it up that way, but we ended up just putting the Parmesan at the very end and it was fine, but here I did mozzarella. Then I put this in the oven and let it bake at 350 for about 15 minutes. Then we plated this up with some spaghetti, put our chicken right on top, and and this is kind of where I wish I had more sauce, but it turned out good. And then we also put our Parmesan on top of this and it was really good. So tonight for dinner, we are doing some white chicken enchiladas. That sounds so good. We have not had some chicken enchiladas in a long time. And then on the side, I'm gonna do some Mexican style rice and then maybe some corn. I don't know if we have any, I'll have to look, but some kind of vegetable, so I'm gonna go ahead and we are gonna get started making it. So I'm starting off by shredding my chicken from my rotisserie chicken, and I love the flavor of a rotisserie chicken, but I felt like for these enchiladas, I wanted a little bit more. So I went in with some cavender seasoning, some onion and garlic powder, and then I stirred all of that together and mixed it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my tortilla, and I did go ahead and add some mozzarella cheese. So I just sprinkled that first on the bottom, and then I put my chicken inside my tortilla, and then I just rolled it up, and we made Made about four I actually cut the recipe in half and I will leave the full recipe in the description below um, but I kind of just tweaked it to fit our family so then I just rolled this up and then put it in the bottom of my greased 9 by 13 pan then I went over to the stove and I took about two tablespoons of butter and a couple tablespoons of flour kind of made like a little paste this is just gonna thicken our sauce a little bit then I took a half a cup of sour cream and one cup of chicken broth and I just stirred all this together on low to medium heat and kind of just made a smooth and creamy consistency and then you're going to take this sauce and pour it right over your enchiladas and this is going to give you a nice creamy base so once I did that I went ahead and sprinkled some Monterey Jack cheese right on top and you can do as little or as or more if you like just whatever preference then I just went ahead and started making our <laughs> rice around Mexican rice while our oven preheated then I just stuck these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes just kind of watch them and then I did broil these at the end for about two minutes to give this nice crisp on top and I loved it and this one turned out really great okay so tonight is church night so I have to make a really quick dinner and something with really easy cleanup. So we are doing this three cheese tortellini and then I have some jarred Alfredo sauce and I prefer homemade. So to this, I'm going to add some Parmesan, some more garlic, probably some more butter, um, and then probably a few more spices. And then we're gonna have some broccoli with that as well. 
So I feel like this recipe is actually pretty self-explanatory and it's so simple. But you just cook your tortellini in some hot boiling water. Then for my sauce, I just added some garlic and then my jar of Alfredo. Then I added some Parmesan and then some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then I just kind of let this simmer for probably five minutes. And then I drained my pasta and then we put it all together, cooked up our broccoli, and it made a really easy and simple dinner. And Noah really loved this one as well. that is going to do it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it and got some dinner recipe inspiration as always if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all in my next one bye